YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. What's up, it's your boy Original Dog Man, John Castro? I have a list here, so we're gonna. I wanted to um see what we could do in the comment section here and see what people think about this because um you know if I were to buy every fucking fragrance that ever came out this year and last year, um I I'd spend a lot of money, and I'm pretty sure. Most of you would too. I don't have a problem with people buying these fragrances. What I have a problem is that they don't narrow it down enough for me to purchase the the perfect fragrance that I want to that I want to purchase that I want that it's suitable for me, comparable um compatible with me, and where I won't do redundant buys or anything like that. So. Hopefully, this talk that I'm about to do here would help some of y'all. Because me watching these reviewers doesn't really help me much, man. It really doesn't help me much as far as um, narrowing down the perfect purchase um, in fragrances. So, these are fragrances that I wanted to purchase, but somehow held back or... I am not going to purchase or might purchase when the price point is right. So hopefully this kind of list will help you guys um, decide to purchase what exactly it is you want to purchase. And these are fragrances that I haven't bought. And, and some of these, most of these, I will not buy. And I'll give you my reasons um, as far as the community goes and as far as my thinking and, and my reasoning. So, the Armani Stronger With You line, um, I was going to blind buy it, and I told my cousin um, to send it to me. He was going to send me all three. I went, and um, I smelled it, and then I called him up. I was like, don't send them. I did not like any of them. I did not like Armani With You Stronger With You, Armani Stronger With You Intensely, and Armani Stronger With You Free. Something about those fragrances put me off, so I didn't buy, I didn't purchase that. Um, it gets a lot of hype in the community. I have no idea why I don't like it. It's weird, um, but I don't like it. That's the reason why I haven't got it. Lamar Le Parfum. One of the reasons why I didn't get that one yet, and I almost purchased it, was because of George the Fragrance Apprentice. Me and him see eye to eye on many fragrances. Tom Ford Ombre Leather, the Boss Ascent Private Accord line. Um, 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 was it Armand Siage, Aventis, all that. I kind of disagreed with him on Mont Blanc Explorer, but, you know, Mont Blanc Explorer does smell good, but I don't think he understands that on my skin it doesn't project. But other than that, me and George the Fragrance Apprentice see eye to eye on many things as far as fragrances go. So I didn't purchase that because he said that the Lamar Le Parfum was just eh. It didn't really do anything for him. So I'm guessing it, if my taste is just like his, almost, I'm not going to like Lamar Le Parfum either. So I didn't get that. Pure Accord, Ashton. Me and Ashton have differences as far as taste goes and fragrances. I like the Invictus line. He doesn't like the Invictus line. So I'm thinking he doesn't like Pure Accord. I'm going to like Pure Accord um, because I like the Meninka fruit. He likes the darker, sweeter scents. I can see why he doesn't like Pure Accord. I believe that I will. That is one that I'm still considering purchasing is uh, Pure Accord. Now, Invictus Victory is the next one that I was going to purchase. And it's a darker, sweeter scent. Chocolate in there. I was like, they took a left turn. They're not staying true to the line. It's not a real true flanker. If you ask me, I think it's just a whole different scent. And I'm not going to purchase that one, um, though I like the Invictus line a shitload, a shit ton. I really like that bubblegummy, fresh scent. And now that they've done that, I am no longer going to be a fan of that Invictus line unless they come back to that, bum that bubblegummy note. That's just me. Um, born in Roma. Valentino Womo, uh, Valentino Womo, born in Roma. Um, I want to get that one, but I think it's overly sweet, 
so I'm going to hold off. Born in Roma, Yellow Dream. Just the freaking title of that, Yellow Dream, just brings me straight to thinking about R. Kelly pissing on people. And after that, I was just like, nope, don't even want it. I don't give a fuck how it smells. Just the thought of that, every time I spray it, I'm thinking about R. Kelly. No, I don't want that shit. Um, one Million Part Form, that's one that I will purchase. Everyone says it's good. A lot of people agree. It smells really nice, floral, whatever. Um, I think I'm going to get my nose on that. I am a fan of the One Million line so far, so I'm going to stick with it. I don't think it changed too much. I think it changed a little, but it's still sticking to the freshy summer type of fragrance, so... I'm going to go ahead and try to pick up that one million perfume. Um, polo Green EDP. I am a Polo fan through and through, especially the green one. You know I'm going to pick that one up sooner or later. Bentley Silver Lake. A money grab. Uh, I feel like something is wrong with that one. They released that in the middle of the fucking winter. I don't know what ha- what was happening with Bentley. Very prestigious, rich car company, lots of money. They released this fragrance, a summer fragrance, in the middle of the fucking winter. I'm like, what the fuck? Um, Something's wrong with that. I've heard people say it performs good, but as I watch the reviews, I don't get the wow factor. I don't get the body, um, the excitement in their body movements, their eyes, their their speech, nothing nothing like that. It's It's a good fragrance. It lasts long, and that's all I really get. So, Bentley Silver Lake, though I do collect Bentley fragrances, I'm just going to let that one pass. Um, Bulgari Glacial Essence, another freshie. Been watching many reviews on it. The body language isn't speaking to me. The tone, the voice, the speech, the eye contact is telling me that it's just another money grab. Versace EDP, a lot of people are saying that the, that the EDT is better. So I'm just going to let that pass too. Um, Initial Musk Therapy. Now I'm going to get that one. I am definitely going to get that one. Pure Accord and Musk Therapy. I believe I'm going to go ahead and pick that one up. Musk Therapy by Initial Parfums. Definitely going to try to pick that one up. Um, Tom Ford's Black Orchid EDP was released in, I believe, 2020. Now I smelled the original Black Orchid. And I liked it, but I didn't like it enough to purchase it. So they took that one, turned it into a little bit more masculine, and called it Tom Ford's Black Orchid EDP. And now, I really don't want that. I think it's EDP or either Parfum, but I believe it's EDP. Um, So I really don't want it. I was going to purchase it just because the bottle was gold, looked nice, and I'm like, eh. Just let that roll. Spice Bomb Infrared. I don't know. I don't like the Spice Bomb line. I do not like Spice Bomb. The original Spice Bomb. I don't like Spice Bomb Extreme. I don't like Spice Bomb Night Vision. I don't like Spice Bomb More Fresh. I, I barely like Spice Bomb EDP. Spice Bomb Night Vision EDP. I barely like that one. I do like it. It's got a stank cedar in it. I can deal with that. But I barely like it. But I think it's a good fragrance. A lot of people don't like... A lot of people like that... Uh. That stink cedar, they don't mind it. I can pick it up easily, and I hate it. So, that's what's going on with me as far as these fragrances goes. I hope I narrowed the list down for y'all. I hope it helped y'all understand what I'm picking up, what I'm not. Um, most of these, I'm not picking up. I, I'm not going to pick it up for the price point right now. Later on, as the price drops on a lot of these, I might pick up one or two or three of them. But right now, that's what I really want. What I really want is that initial... Rehab uh, initial musk therapy. I do want that um pure accord. I'm, I'm kind of iffy about the pure accord, but basically, that's what I really want. I really want that initial musk therapy, and I'm anxious to hear about what that spice bomb infrared is going to smell like. Now, with that being said, I watched Joel the Nose, um, his, his video about the future of fragrances and and what the these fragrance companies and these houses or this this I, I don't know if it's independent Arabian house or a Middle Eastern house they've been gathering all the info on the internet about what's going to sell what's not going to sell um, how fruity note fragrances 
are up how how um what did he say cherry notes are up more unisex type of fragrances are up and um what else is down i think he said he said certain other fragrances are down citrus citrus has gone down not too many people want citrus fragrances anymore not too many people want jasmine fragrances anymore so with that being said my thoughts and my gathering is who's going to take advantage who's who's going to Who's going to benefit for the ups and downs of the market? And, and I'm thinking, since citrus is going down, they're going to start price gouging on fragrances that have a lot of citrus in it. So, with that being said, I maybe some of you guys, you know, it might benefit you to go out there and pick up a couple bottles of Sicily. A couple of bottles of our Moth Club Denny Intense for Man with that lemon. Um, you know, because the market going down in there and people aren't really going to be making these citrus fragrances anymore. Or hardly. Then you got to think about that. They're going to have some fragrant sharks out here trying to price gouge. And, and it's going to lead to a bunch of other stuff. Um, when all you're going to have on the market is fruity. Really? What does it say? 60... the 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 demand for fruity fragrances has risen 60%. And the rest of them are like down 40, down 15, down 30 or something like that he was saying. So in my mind, I'm already ahead of the game thinking, you know, who who's going to take advantage of this? If there's a market for for ups and downs, someone's going to take advantage of the ups and someone's going to take advantage of the downs. So, you know, with all that being said, I, I'd like to hear what you guys have to say about that. And, um, you know, what, what new fragrances have you guys heard? There's a lot of other fragrances. Mont Blanc Explorer Legend EDP. I do want to pick that one up. I think I put that one here. Or did I? No, yeah, I do. Mont Blanc EDP. I did put that one. I do want that one. So, you know... And what's going on here with me right now is that I am so close, so close to falling off the edge of this fragrance journey. Like, I am literally getting burnt. And, and even with this, my past experience with this um, 1 million perfume because they got my order messed up, I'm like so close to just like... Shutting this whole thing down. This is what I do with hobbies. It's just how I am. I take it all in at one time and then I just drop it dead in the water. Um, a lot of hobbies I picked up and have done that. My gaming, my guns, my knives, all kind of crazy hobbies that I picked up. I just dropped it dead in the water. Sometimes I just given away all my shit just because I was sick of it or tired of it or whatever. And I move on in life to experience something else, something better, something newer. So hopefully, hopefully, um, I don't stop this and drop this dead in the water. Because I don't. I really actually enjoy this fragrance journey. Um, I've been thinking about getting into watches again. Uh, the most expensive watch that I ever bought was, I believe, a Seiko $700, $600 something dollar watch. Close to seven. Um... I don't know. That's a very expensive hobby. I was looking at the Rolexes, and I was like, wow, really? So, I don't know. You know, I don't know exactly what's, um, what's in store for me now. But, with that being said, this video is basically to help you guys narrow down what you want to buy. Like, I was really thinking about that, that why Le Parfum... Or the y, uh, y E D Y Y S L the Parfum I believe the black the blacker bottle I have I just bought the E D P like what last week and I really enjoy that one man or a couple days ago and I really enjoy that one and um some people were saying that 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 Parfum version just didn't smell as good as the E D P and I'm like. Why would I want to buy that one? I just go get a backup bottle of EDP. Just like with the Sauvage. I mean, why would I get Sauvage Parfum? 
when I have Sauvage EDP? Why would I go get the EDT when I have the EDP? And it just, to me, it projects about the same to me. I mean, I know the EDT may go a little bit harder with the projection, but the, the performance on the EDP, man, is beast. It lasts a long time, very long time. And it smells just as good. It smells actually better. So why would I go get the EDT? I might just pick up the EDT Sauvage, but I don't think I would enjoy it more. You know, I, I want to sit there and actually enjoy it. I could go get um, Blue Day Chanel Parfum, but I know that that performance sucks. That performance sucks, and it smells damn good. I've smelled it. So, you know, helping you guys narrow down your choices, man, that's the thing that I want to do. Because if there's anything that I could do to help y'all, is to help y'all spend wisely. Buy the perfect fragrance wisely. I mean, I know a lot of y'all can't get your noses on samples and, you know, you can't put your noses on a fragrance first. And I can't do that all the time either. And a lot of these fragrances, they don't give away samples. You know, you got to purchase a sample from someone or whatever. So, you know, that's money too. So it's either you waste or you don't. But like I said, this with me, the Armani Stronger with me line, that's basically just me. You guys can go do what you want to do with that one. Um, but La Mala Parfum, I watch George, and I agree with George, sort of. I, I'm agreeing with him that I may not get anything. And I've heard other reviewers say that it, it really, some, it really say that it's just, it, it's nothing too special. You know, uh, Pure Accord, um, they uh, heard a couple of reviewers say they enjoy it. I'm like, okay, the only one that I've heard that, that said that they really didn't like it that much was Ashton, which Ashton doesn't like Invictus, and I love Invictus. So what's that tell you? That I might actually enjoy Pure Accord. Um, Invictus Victory took a left turn. If you guys like that chocolatey Tonka, so they say that that's what it's in there, then go get Invictus Victory. But if you pay attention to Paco Rabanne and their line, they're not used to making dark, rich fragrances. They're used to making that lightweight shit, that freshy, that sweet. Freshy and sweet is what Paco Rabanne is good at doing. Freshy and sweet. They're not good at doing dark, sexy, sensual, mysterious fragrances. They're just not good at that. I don't believe they are. As far as the Invictus and the One Million line goes. So why would I buy this Invictus Victory? I think this is just a money grab. Um, Born in Roma... Yellow Dream, I already told you why. One Million Parfum, I will pick that one up. I've heard good things about it. Polo EDP, I am a fan. I will pick that up. I'm an old school. I'm an old head. I want to pick that one up. Bentley Silver Lake, a money grab. Bulgari Glacial Essence, money grab. Wild Parfum, money grab flanker. Initial Must Therapy, heard good things about that one. And that is the that's going to be the first... Summer fragrance that Initio has had, and I think that a complete Initio line. I want to pick up maybe two or three more from that Initio line, like Bless Baraka and Rehab. And maybe Must Therapy. I know they cost a good penny, so I'm going to hold off and save my money for that. Tom Ford's Black Orchid EDP. I like the regular Orchid, but not enough to buy it, so why the fuck would I buy this one? Um, Spice Bomb Infrared. I'm curious for that one, so... That's my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, peace to hell out.